Welcome painters and decorators the interweb. This is Phil Beckwith, your professional painter and decorator. Back with another testing brushes video. Now you may have seen, well you may have seen, you might, might have already watched it. There's a video there where I tr try out the Pro Deck um, dozen paint brushes, about 16 quid. I didn't think they were too bad. I used Tell Me Undercoat and I painted half the door, can you see down there? with the brush and I didn't think they were too bad at all. My only criticism was they were a little bit too floppy, i.e. the bristle length out on the brush was a bit too long. But I said I'd be back and I said on that video that I've got other brushes to try out. And one of them, this is another pack of brushes from Toolstation. Now it's not, it's not the case that have been sponsored by Toolstation and sent me a load of brushes. I've had to buy these, like I bought the last pack, they were about £16, these are roughly just over 11 Now, Hamilton are a bit more of a, a traditional paintbrush manufacturer and I thought I'll try these out, I mean it's only a pack of one, two, three, five, five brushes for 11 quid. pack you get an inch, you get two one and a half inches and you get two two inches and I thought for 11 quid let me try it because some people are always asking me what paint brushes do you use now I use Arrowworthy you get a pack of three slash cut or standard classic width normal brushes about 17 to 20 pounds might be a little bit more but if you're a DIYer or just somebody just tidying up a room and you just want some paint brushes can 11 pound be any good I'm not sure but saying that I use a Wix brush, get a pack of three, inch, inch and a half, and um, a two inch, three brushes for £11. They're pretty good. They're not arrowworthy standard, but they're pretty good. So let's let's try this out. I'm going to use the same paint as I did with the other one, um, with the Pro Deck brushes. It's the Helmy undercoat, and as I probably said last time, I'm working out the tin because there's not a lot of paint in there. It's like using a kettle because these 2.7 litre tins are quite nice as a paint kettle. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a two inch out because I used the two inch, I think I did. Did I use a two inch? Oh yeah, I used a two inch last time. So I'm gonna use a two inch this time and see what it's like on Doris the door, doing half the door. I get a feel for what a brush is like, doing mouldings, doing panels, doing the, the rails and the styles and the mullions and the lot rails and things. So I, I can get a feel for how nice a brush actually is. So um, yeah, let me get one out and let's start painting. All right, got one out for you. First initial thoughts. Did I sniff the last brush? Probably I did. <laughs> Always sniff a brush. Yeah. There is synthetic brush bristle. Um, very soft on the end. The actual bristles feel nice and soft. They don't feel as long. Yeah, the length out, that bit, it's different parts of a brush, that's the length out. The length out doesn't feel as floppy. So whether there's a little bit more body to the actual bristle amount, this feels quite promising. So I'm gonna, let's crack on with it. Sixteen quid or eleven quid. Do you know what? As a as a brush, if I say a traditional brush, 
that feels to me like a traditional brush it's got a little bit more firmness when you're applying the paint now this is water-based paint those previous brushes the pro deck which was the the dozen were very soft I won't want to apply oil based paint with such a soft bristle and a brush that's got quite a long length out now this is firmer if not that I use a lot of oil based paint now brilliant because like water based paint it's a lot easier it dries quick and smells not like oil that with it being firmer and that little bit shorter was a better brush to apply paint by that makes sense and if we was using oil based paint I would prefer to be using this sort of brush that's got a shorter length that will hold the paint and I've got more control to lay off crow's nest lay off the paint now I think let me just go and see if I've got one of the pro deck about hold on you have still got one about right look at the difference in length see that 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 fraction makes all the difference but I think the difference in the feel will be look at this can you see that there's more on the thickness of the width of that stock and ferrule than that so in effect there's more bristle in there to hold that together that's why it feels firmer that felt floppy but saying that it wasn't a bad brush and if you've watched that video there I didn't think it was bad it was probably not it won't be my go-to I hate that word go-to brush but as a quick brush for coating something up that's not a problem and you get 12 for 16 pounds but that is the difference in your qualities of your brushes look at that that's where the thickness comes from for your firmness so let's get rid of that that was firmer it put the paint on nicely I could lay off nicely even though it it felt a little bit more scratchier it was still a soft tip bristle so I'm happy with that would I use that again yeah no problem using that again if I hadn't got Arrowworthy I could use that I'd be quite happy with that the other nice thing about that was when I was applying it and cutting in around those edges I could feel that if I needed to cut in with this to use emulsion around the top edge of a wall to a, a coving or a, just a ceiling line that would have enough firmness I'm trying to put it in layman's terms that would have enough firmness in, firmness in the bristle to actually give you a nice cutting in even though it's not a slash cut it's a flat tip brush it's a flat brush just normal brush but that would cut in nicely I could feel it would be a nice cutting in brush so do we give that a thumbs up I give that a thumbs up and I say if you're wanting a better quality brush for only 11 pounds have a look at that Hamilton I'll get the pack Oops. Hamilton for the trade you can see that and it's not a bad brush at all 11 pound you get five brushes quite happy with that at that sort of price if you used it and had to throw it away you could do but wash it out water yeah warm water a little bit of washing up liquid in it warm water dissolve it away and that'll be good to go for the next time and um, we like water-based paint so it's, it's clean it's nice clean stuff no smell no. right I'll have some videos there or oh, actually I think they're there have we got some videos just there yeah but please look at those videos see what you think give us some comments not a bad brush quite pleased with that